Hey everybody, it's Molly with All Ears and I am here today with a brand new video. I'm at Disney's Animal Kingdom, but what am I doing today? I've got no idea because you're in charge. We're doing another Instagram Decides My Day. So everything I ride, eat, do, all up to our Instagram followers. Starting with my outfit, you guys voted on this Lion King spirit jersey, mask and matching ears. Off to a great start. Let's see where the day takes us. It'll be wild. To start things off, I put a box up on Instagram asking what I should do today. And one of my favorite answers was find 10 different species of animal, but the safari doesn't count. So you can't go on the safari and just see 10 on the safari. So I'm gonna be looking for 10 different animals throughout the day on the animal trails and in exhibits. So that's a really fun one that I'm gonna do all day long. The music has changed. The bird keepers are out here, which can only mean one thing. Well, we just got animal number two, Winged Encounters, which is the macaw show. Um, it used to be a little bit longer, but now uh, with social distancing and everything, the birds will fly in, land on the logs outside the tree of life, and then fly away. And it's very terrifying if you're scared of birds um, or very pretty if you're into birds. So that just counted. So I'm counting that as animal number two. Along with my animal quest, someone said, actually many people said, go to Starbucks first. And I love when people tell me to go to Starbucks. Uh, and somebody said, but well, you have to order whatever the person in front of you does, which is a dicey game at Starbucks because there's a lot of stuff I love. And there's things I don't prefer to drink. I'm not a big like Frappuccino, super sweet coffee person. I'm a, I'm a little more of a classic coffee drinker, but I like this challenge. So we'll see what my morning coffee looks like today. Passing the otter exhibit on my way to Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks. Otters? No otters. It's a little bit cooler today, so uh, that is both great and not great for animal viewing. It's great because animals like tigers and lions might be more active um, because it's not so hot, but also if it gets too cold, they won't actually put out some of the animals on to, on their uh, in their exhibits because it's too cold for them. Hello. Oh, you're Molly. Oh, Hi! It's either gonna be something from one of these people or one of these people. I don't know what of any of these fine guests and I have the same taste in coffee. But we'll find out soon. Maybe I'll get a seasonal, like a creme brulee. I don't know if I'd like that. I do like the chestnut praline though. It's a little chilly, but I can always do a cold foam. They're both paying. Oh, just wondering what the, the guest before me ordered. Uh, they had a Starbucks double cup. If you haven't been to any of the Disney Starbucks since the parks reopened, what happens is they have you wait online, so they'll have you go to a register. And then when it's your turn to wait, they'll instruct you to come wait on the green dot so everyone's waiting for pickup uh, distance from each other. And then they'll call your name when your drink is ready. Turns out the person in front of me was in a cool mood because they got an iced double shot, uh, which is espresso and classic syrup and a little bit of milk over ice. So I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna bring my coffee back to try on one of my favorite kind of secret places in Animal Kingdom I'd love to show you. It's the Discovery Island Trails and they track back behind the Tree of Life and they are super quiet usually. There's not a lot of people back here. You can get awesome videos and pictures of the Tree of Life. The character boats come right by here. Uh, there's some animals usually, but there aren't out right now. I was kind of hoping to cross off a few more animals off of my, my list, but this is a really good place to come and enjoy your coffee and just enjoy how beautiful this park is. Like, look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, now, stationary, away from other people, gonna enjoy my coffee. That is delicious. Thank you person in front of me. Um, I love how strong the espresso is and it's really nicely balanced with a little bit of milk and the syrup. If I were to do this again, 
which I probably will. I will probably order this in my life. I'm going to swap out the syrup for something other than classic. Maybe make it a seasonal. Maybe maybe pumpkin if they still have it. A peppermint or something. Mm. Three shots of espresso in this baby. This day's about to be great. I am going to head to Africa now, which is where I would recommend starting your day if you get here early. Um, I would recommend going on the safari first because the earlier you can go, the cooler it is, and the more likely the animals will be active. But I'm not going to go on the safari because I'm looking for other animals, but I'm going to go to the trail here in Africa. I think a lot of people overlook how awesome the animal trails are. Uh, there's the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail in Africa and the Maharaja Jungle Trek in Asia. And in addition to those two main trails, uh, there are some smaller trails around the Tree of Life. And there's animals in pretty much every land. Even Dandelion has animals um, exhibit. So I think people often overlook them, but hey, you're at the Animal Kingdom. Check out some animals, which is what we're going to go do right now. The Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail is at the exit of Safari, but you don't have to ride Safari if you don't want to. Of course, I highly recommend riding Safari during your Animal Kingdom day. But you just head up the back way here and go on the trail. An important reminder that you are no longer allowed to eat or drink in the queues at attractions, and that does now count at the animal trails before you could kind of walk through with your coffee or whatever. Hi there! Um, but they're asking you not to do that anymore. It's actually not really news that you couldn't eat on the trail. They've always asked that because of the animals. Um, but they're just asking you not to drink on the trail because people don't listen to the rules and then they have to make them stricter. That's all I will say about that. There's one little guy right here. It's a black and white colobus monkey. They must be chilly because I can only see this one guy. Normally they're out swinging and playing and having fun, but We'll count him. One of my favorite animals at Animal Kingdom is out and about this morning, the Okapi. I think he is so cute. I understand that he's more closely related to the giraffe, but I can't help it that he looks like an antelope wearing zebra pants. And I love him so much. Hi, pretty girl. I love you. I know you're shy, but you're beautiful. I'm in line for the gorillas now. What they're doing to ensure distancing is they have a line and then there's dots up along the glass. Um, and then they've got cast members here that are casually in instructing people to move down so that way nobody crowds and also no one person takes too long so that it's more fair that way. If you have no interest in seeing the gorillas, you can bypass the line. Um, this is where the family of gorillas is. So the younger males, the baby and the females, and then around the corner is where you'll see the big male gorillas. So if you've no interest in seeing them, you can just scoot on by. But I hear the babies out and the baby's very cute. Hi, mama. How are you? Me after eating at Ohana. Here's the baby sleeping with mom. So sweet. Look, the big boys are out too. There's three of them. There's one right here, one up there, and one moving this way. I love the big ones. They're amazing. Look at these happy boys. All right, with seeing those gorillas, that was amazing. All three of the males were out, that was so cool. Um, with seeing those, that's five of my 10 animals. You can see more animals on the trail. There's a whole bird area. There's naked mole rats, there's some reptiles. Um, sometimes the meerkats are out, but I wanna spread out the animal love and get over to the other trail as well. Some of you suggested I go up to Rafiki's Planet Watch to do the animation class. Um, it's one of my favorite kind of off the radar things. I talked to a customer, she said, don't worry about the long line. They just put another train on the tracks and it should move very, very quickly because um, the second train is here before they just had one train. So we're going to go to Rafiki's Planet Watch and do some fun activities up there.
It's taken just a little over half an hour for me to be boarding the train. Um, that is definitely because of the very small amount of capacity. They've kind of divided the train into sections. Um, so like they said for me to go to the back middle of this part of the train. And I'll be the only person sitting in here where normally like, I don't know, 10 people could sit here. There's an animation class in about 25 minutes, so I'm gonna hope I can get into that one. Because several people have suggested I do the animation class, but one person suggested a fun twist on it. Also on the train up here, I did see some of the animals backstage, including a baby rhino, which is like, OMG, so cute. Um, but those are the safari animals. So I don't think I can count them for my quest, but I did see rhinos and an elephant, which is one reason I like coming to Rafiki's Planet Watch, because you can see backstage and you might see some animals you wouldn't on the safari, like a baby rhino. Up here at Rafiki's Planet Watch, there are a couple different things to do. Uh, you've got the animation class, you've got the affection section, where you can actually go pet some animals, um, like goats and sheep. And then you've also, they've got some different animal exhibits, and you may actually even see um, some vets working on something up here. Okay, the cast member told me to be here about 10 to 15 minutes before the animation class if I'd like to do that, which I would, um, but I went ahead and checked the Instagram and somebody else also suggested I get a selfie with a goat. And I would love to get a selfie with a goat, so I'm gonna do that right now while I wait for the class. Okay, they have, they're only letting a limited amount of people in. Uh, they're asking you to sanitize first and then you can go in. Goat, 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 goat. I want to find a goat. Goat, goat. Oh my gosh, look at all the goats. I love them so much. I'm so happy right now. Okay, there's sheeps and goats. And this wasn't open when the park first reopened. So I'm so glad it's back. I feel like the goats probably miss getting pets. They're all just hanging out. Oh my gosh, I love them. Hello, goat. This is Bueller. I met him before and took a selfie with him. He looks to be enjoying his day, so I'm gonna pet him. Hi, Bueller. Do you want some scratchy scratchies? Hello, I love you so much. You are very cute. Can we take a Hello, selfie, yeah. Bueller? Okay, Bueller. Bueller and I are best friends. Bueller and Molly. Do you want to be my new sidekick? Do you want to come live in my house? I think Kronk would like you. Best friends, Molly and Bueller. Let's start a cop show, like a, like a buddy cop show, Bueller and Molly. <laughs> That was great. I could literally pet goats all day and it would be the best day at Animal Kingdom. It'd be a really boring video, but it would be a great day. Um, so once you're actually up here, there's not a ton of people, which is great um, because they're letting so few people on the train. You actually have a lot more leeway to like look at the animal exhibits and go pet the goats. And now I'm gonna go get in line for the class because it starts in about 15 minutes. The animation experience is one of low key my favorite things. Uh, some of you may remember they used to have this at Hollywood Studios at the Magic of Disney Animation, which is where Star Wars Launch Bay is now. And they have a character artist come teach you how to draw a character. And they moved it up here at Animal Kingdom, gosh, a year ago at this point, over a year ago. Um, and they do animals here. So it's all animal characters. When it started, it was all Lion King, but now they've expanded. So today, looks like I'm gonna be drawing Shere Khan. And if you don't think you can, I think you Shere Khan. Oh, that was good. Thank you, Tony, I appreciate that. Great. Will do, thank you. Uh, so I'm gonna be attempting to draw Shere Khan, but I'm gonna do it with my left hand because that's what somebody suggested. So this is gonna be atrocious. When you get in line for the animation experience, they hand you this paper that's got some marks on it and a pencil. Um, this has all been sanitized and cleaned um, before you would get it out of a bin. 
and um, I love this animation class. I definitely recommend talking to a cast member and figuring out what times the classes are. Um, and again, it took me like 30 minutes just to get up here, 30, 40, by the time I actually got up to Rafiki's Play to Watch. So I would allow yourself like an hour before the class starts to get on the train and get up here, maybe longer on a really busy day. finished my drawing completely left-handed it's a monster is this is like Shere Khan's like brother that's gonna show up in the second Jungle Book you know how always in the Straight to VHS sequels they have like not the main villain but the main villain's sibling that's like I must avenge my brother happens in Lion King too and in Little Mermaid too so this is um Bill Bon not Sheer Khan. Anyway, what a disaster. I love the animation class. It is like 25 or 30 minutes long. And with how long you have to wait to get on the train right now because of the uh, limited capacity, uh, it does take a big chunk of your day. So I understand if that's maybe not something you're gonna prioritize. I think older kids and adults will probably like it best. Um, but I always have fun when I do it. I think it's a nice quiet little retreat that not a lot of people are into. So maybe it's something you save for the afternoon. Um, if you get here early and ride all the rides, you can do this in the afternoon. I found another creature as I'm exiting Africa. It's a cotton top tamarind. It is so cute. It is so small. I love it. It's a little baby. Hello, little friend. Headed now to the most requested ride of all. Expedition Everest has for sure gotten the most votes over dinosaur over flight of passage even so i'm gonna go ride expedition everest but one person suggested i see how many times i can ride it in an hour okay, just currently on the app the post to wait is 25 minutes so that would lead to be two or three depending how well my timing is uh, but let's see if that wait time's true and and how many i can do let's hope for three that's the goal Ride one took seven minutes, like, to ride it. I walked right on. That last time took maybe 10 minutes in the line. Back in line for round four. I actually went live on round three on Instagram because a lot of people asked if I could go live on a ride. So back in line for round four. It's been just over 31 minutes since I started doing this. As it turns out, five times is how many times I could ride Everest in an hour. That time was the least moving and grooving. So it actually took the 15 minutes that was posted, which is still not long at all. But by the time I got off, I had hit that hour mark. The fastest was like seven minutes, including riding. The slowest was like 20 minutes, including riding. So definitely a must do for me. Maybe not a must do five times in a row. My tum is a little upset. 
anyway, love that attraction. Definitely come in the afternoon and you can get on this one without much of a wait right now. But look, it's already up to 25 again, so I think I did this at a good time. I'm going to go now to the Maharaja Jungle Track, which is another one of those animal trails what? over in Asia. Um, I've seen six animals so far and I need to see four more for that one task. So let's see if I can find four more over in Asia. On my way to Maharaja Jungle Trek, I'm noticing that the Siamung, that's this monkey fella here, is out playing. Hello, little friend. Oh, and there's another one over here. Here we go on a jungle trek. Hello. Hello. Right. Have fun. Thank you. Here's number eight. It's um a nightmare. It's a kimono dragon. Look at that thing. He's 89 pounds. That's so scary. Oh boy, oh boy. I found number nine. And it's a good one. <gasps> Hello, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love you. You are beautiful. Hello. Why aren't you so pretty? And number 10, we have these Asian water buffalo here and their names, I love this, Blanche, Dorothy, and Rose. Love it, there's number 10. Those water buffalo got me to number 10. And there's more animals you can see. There's tons of birds, there were bats, but I didn't see them or they were far away. There are so many cool animals. I highly recommend doing the animal trails when you come here. They're a great filler in between your big ticket attractions. And I really enjoy them. I like to walk them. I basically walk them almost every time I come here just because you never know what the animals are going to do. It could be something really fun. And it's a great thing to do if you are doing the Wilderness Explorers, which I did in another video we can link for you. A lot of the stations are on these trails. Seen all my animals, such a fun one. I think it's time for a snack, which a lot of people suggested all kinds of different snacks, but a really fun one which somebody suggested finding a snack that starts with the same letter as my name, which as you know is M. So I'm trying to think of snacks that start with M, um, like Mies Burger Mods, my favorite snack in Animal Kingdom, cheeseburger pods, obviously I can't make that work, um, but I could do anything Mickey shaped, but that feels like a cop out because you can get Mickey shaped stuff at any park. And I'd like to show an Animal Kingdom exclusive snack if I can. So I think I've got one in mind. Let's see if they're open. This is the perfect snack. These are called Mr. Kamal's seasoned fries. You can only get them at Mr. Kamal's, which is a little kiosk that's got these and the uh, chicken dumplings. Uh, I love the Mr. Kamal's fries because they come with signature sauces. There's a curried honey mustard and then a hot Korean ketchup and then regular ketchup as well. I also asked for a cup of water and I'm sitting at the relaxation station right next to there, which has the most beautiful view of the tree of life. And if you're lucky and you sit here long enough, some of the characters may float by as well. French fry time. So I love that these are seasoned on their own. Mm. A little bit spicy, not too bad though. And then I love, you can get both sauces, one sauce. I'm gonna try the hot ketchup first. Mm. A little sweet, a little spicy, love that. And now this curried honey mustard. Mm. That one's good too. I think I like the hot ketchup a little bit more. But this is a great shareable snack, great spot to relax, and it starts with M. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, I love this one. A couple of you suggested this, to find a random cast member and ask them which ride I should do next. Whatever they say, I gotta do it. So, let's find us a cast member. Hi, Joe. Hi. Okay, Joe, what ride should I go on next? What have you done? I've ridden Everest. Okay. And that's it as far as rides so far today. Have you seen any animals? I've seen a lot of animals. Okay, so I may recommend the Kilimanjaro Safari in Africa. You're gonna see a lot more animals. Okay, I love They're it. They're always active in the afternoon. Perfect, thanks Joe. You're welcome, have a great day. Bye. All right, my new friend Joe, working at the Island Mercantile here. 
said I need to go ride a safari, which you know what? I can't argue with that logic. It is Animal Kingdom after all. And he said the animals are pretty active in the afternoon. So let's go check it out and see who we see. I wonder if the hyenas will be out. It's probably too early for the hyenas. They're my favorite. But also a lot of you said, hopefully we can spot a baby animal. So hopefully this will be a twofer. Giraffe actively browsing. It's worth keeping an eye out there, Tom. They're very long, stinky, prehensile. Make sure your children sitting down. Seat on lap is great. So the dog giraffe, Tom, could be as much as a foot and a half. One of the other drivers, he explains to me he's seen them licking their own eyeballs. Hi, giraffe. I love you. Yeah. All right. Um, did have a great safari because uh, it's a little bit cooler out right now. It's been a little cooler all day, but definitely a little cooler as the afternoon goes on. Saw the wild dogs, saw the giraffes, the elephants, the lions, cheetahs, rhinos, and zebras were super close. Great safari. Loved that attraction. Didn't see any of the baby babies, but we did see a younger zebra and a younger elephant. So hopefully that appeased to those who wanted babies. One more task to complete. A lot of you have asked throughout the day to go get a random magic shot. Oh look, Pocahontas and Nico are coming. Time out. Thanks Nico. Wink up, oh, Pocahontas. Okay, sorry, I can get back on track. So, a lot of you have asked for a magic shot and I realize there's two lands we haven't been to yet today. And a lot of people also asked to see the floating mountains. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone and get one of my favorite magic shots that I don't think a lot of people know that you can get. If you head right here, a wonderful photo pass photographer can take your photo and they can make a little magic. If they don't ask you to do it automatically, just ask them if they can do a magic shot because it includes a magical creature. I bet you can guess which one in three, two, magic shot. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think magic shots are so fun. Now I do get a uh, memory maker included with my annual pass. Um, but if you're buying memory maker, make sure you get as many magic shots as you can. Um, the cast members, the photo pass cast members may ask you to look at your hands or point at the ground or point up or react a certain way. If they ever ask you that, just do it. And then look in the My Disney Experience app where you can see all your photos. Uh, they do take a little bit longer than a regular photo, maybe a day sometimes, um, but it's always whimsical. It's always fun and I always enjoy seeing who's gonna show up in my photos. I'm curious what everyone's favorite ride is in Animal Kingdom. We got to do both of mine, that's Everest and Safari, but those were definitely the two most requested rides, even over Flight of Passage, as well as Dinosaur. Dinosaur and Dinoline in general don't really get that much attention. Like, they're kind of, no one really appreciates the theming. People don't like Dinoland. It would be a shame if I was trapped there sometime soon. Well, friends, that is a wrap on my Instagram Decides My Day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I had so much fun. I hope you did too following along, had some snacks, rode some rides, saw a bunch of animals. What's your favorite thing to do in this park? Definitely let me know in the comments. We'll have more Animal Kingdom videos coming for you soon. In the meantime, friends, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at All Ears Net. Where do you want to send me next? Let's decide my day somewhere else. Until next time, friends, I'm Molly, and it's been magical. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.